How are we One doing today? Minute. Fine. Thank you. Yes. Good. You know, every time I read this book, I get a little bit of, um, I would say the word might be a little bit of nostalgia. And the reason is because when I was doing my, my bachelor's, when I was studying uh, yeah, in the university, not in Sweden, but in the US, one of the things that I, I used a lot, now looking back, I'm like, I really miss it, is the workspace where students can go and actually meet and, and uh, uh, well, work together, do your homework, either as a group or solo. I have to be honest, I think that the closest thing to that that I can find in Sweden is, um, sorry, not Sweden, Sweden is too broad, in Gothenburg is the Chalmers Library in Linholmen. I think that's the closest. And to be honest, even then it falls significantly short. Uh, the reason I say that is because specifically reading this chapter, by the way, I'm speaking about chapter five, the one from last week, since I had to postpone it. Um, when I read this, I remember, well, wow, the, the equipment they had over there, and it's not that they invented anything new. It's just that they really, really had like areas, like dedicated areas. Imagine like, uh, how can I explain, like uh, a big area and you have little like islands and then each island had of course a table a number of chairs a tv and a whiteboard every single island had one of those so you could go with your colleagues as an example programming and you say hey let's go to this place it was like a place in the building and you just find one of those islands you connect your computer everything was there again Linholman has some of those uh, those computers with the tv but once again i i feel they fall a little bit short, a little bit, to be honest. So any thoughts on that? Um, how do you, like, now that you have read all of this, have you thought about your own equipment, even at home, when working even by yourself? How how does that resonate on you? Anyone? Mm, I was in, Lin we were in Lindholm the, the other day. Uh, it was really comfortable, but but the tables were a bit small for, I mean, it's for like two, three people. Mm. How many were you? Uh, we were me and Murad only. The bad part, ah, okay. uh, the bad part of the Lindholm is that they close at four, so yeah. it's it's a bit bad. Unless you're a Chalmers student and then you can stay till ten. But mm -hmm. but yeah, I have one big TV, but that's my like media TV. But I think I feel that like I need another screen, like to have it on the landscape, to mm -hmm. my. To my to my right in my left. case to my right you're right mm -hmm. some people do right okay. I, some people do left i do right you know because most that we do is take code that we already wrote and rewrite it in another like changing it in a way so it's good mm -hmm. to have like a in a secondary. landscape mode. yeah secondary just to yeah. like tuk, 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 tuk. Mm. um how did you manage with the internet by the way did you have internet in chalmers uh, they offer us the Wi-Fi, but I always use mine because I have ah, unlimited okay. data, so that that was ah, never okay. a, that's never an, an issue, issue for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, exactly. What about the other students? How, have you thought about your own equipment in terms of your own home? Are, um, I mean, I have to be honest. Every now and then I do work from my laptop, but it is so frustrating because the real estate is so small that uh, yeah. I cannot. I feel like it's as, as if I'm in a fight and one hand is on my back. Like, uh, it doesn't feel good. I, I I have two monitors and that allows me to be, in my case, if effective. And I see that you have been uh, yeah. smiling. You, I, I guess you want to yeah. say something. <laughs> yeah, because uh, when I first saw the Android Studio, uh, I, uh, when I started to see the videos, the class, uh, I tried to connect the, my computer with the TV and the, here, but unfortunately I can't. I don't know. Maybe some problem with the Philips TV. Uh, I say to my wife, okay, I need to go to buy the screen because uh, for me it's like, okay, I see the videos now to uh, replicate the code and the guy project. Oh, I need to come back. So I go to buy the screen. I have in the room one screen big. Uh, uh, okay. I, I don't buy new. I buy marketplace just just for have two screens. So they help a lot. Because at the same time I call, I will see the videos. Ah, I have exactly. you start uh, 
talking, uh, okay, I need to do this, this, I follow you. Exactly. I, I, ideally, that should be the scenario, like the student has on one screen, the video or, yeah, the, the video you could say, and on another screen, the, um, well, your own code. In the case of, for example, Dimash is from the data. Uh, for the part that they are working on, they don't have videos. But in your case, you do have data, uh, Dima, the CSV. So, for example, on one screen, you have the actual CSV file with all the information. And then the other one, you're doing your code. Because when I'm working, I'm changing topics. I'm like, uh, when I'm in the data, I do not need a video, but I do need to see very often my, my data set so that I know what I'm doing. Because switching between windows, Ah, it's uh, very ineffective, very inefficient, and uh, makes you slow. And that's a topic that I want everyone to remember. Like, it is good to save money, yeah. But uh, as I tell people, there's two areas where I don't care about spending: health and education. If it's for my health, I don't care how much it costs. And if it's for education, usually I also don't care how much it costs because it's also uh, like for me for other stuff I am a little bit more uh, strict but if it's health related or education related I don't care um, I'm a bit more open to that but uh, so think about that because all of you it doesn't matter the course uh, you will spend and you do spend a significant amount of time in a computer in a chair and uh, yeah, in a desk so make sure that whichever equipment you have, it helps you uh, and it doesn't harm you uh, from a health perspective. And I know we have not been speaking about the mob yet, but uh, I think that this concept that they do describe here applies to beyond beyond the mob, beyond the mob. Um, has anyone gone gone to the school and worked from the school? Anyone? No one. Ah, um, Dima has. Okay, Dima has. How was your experience working from the school, Dima? Um, I like to work with the group, actually. So when dealing with each other and uh, exchanging our ideas, it helped me a lot. Even improve my codes itself also. Mm. Uh, and physics dealings is not like you are just chatting through the uh through the computers it is more uh, I, I think it's more fun for me yeah no i i agree so you have met at the school itself we met at places near to each other in between ah, okay yeah okay, we okay. also met in the school last time i think yeah we mm -hmm. sit together and discussing our projects ah, okay really nice really nice mm -hmm. yeah i know at least uh, murad and enrique you guys meet different places, uh, uh, Lynn Holman, cafeteria and stuff like that. Mariam, Andre, have you guys, not necessarily between you two, but with other people, have you had the chance of meeting physically somewhere? Not physically, but not we physically. create the uh, meet to uh, work together. Okay, okay. My guys, yes, I, I have my special uh, special cafe here. So ah, okay. Because sometimes I'm trying to code here in the home and with the kids is impossible. So I need to silence in my head. I say, my wife, I need to go to the cafe. Uh, but I met with example Edwin uh, yesterday. So ah, okay. we, we decided met uh, one, one day per week in the bibliotheque with a screen trying to share uh, the problems and the situation. Mm. I, I can recommend once again, I don't know which library you guys meet, but the one I know the one from Lynn Holman, it's uh, quite good, assuming that there's space, because as I, as they said, there's only like three or four of these stations and uh, there's no more than that. And it's well, first come, first serve. So you have to be there. But anyways, I, I, I can recommend that one because um, when you work with Mob, and by the way, we're going to have I will be announcing it in the coming days. We're going to have a, an event on November. No, 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 sorry, October 25th. So that is in, in the coming days. It will be virtual, so no worries. And it will be during lunch. It's um, an old colleague of mine uh, where I used to where I used to work and we implemented mod programming. Like we implement all the things that I speak about mod programming come uh, from my experience uh, there. And he will be giving a presentation to you guys and to other uh, people about it. I have to announce it. Yeah, I'm just letting you know a little bit early, but uh, he will be speaking about everything. And one of the keys to success when doing more programming is, I would say many, 
but associated to this chapter. Number one, having a dedicated place, having a dedicated place. I know it's nice like, hey, this meet this day on this cafe and the next day on that cafe. And, and of course, it's always nice to change environments, but also keep in mind that once you have like a setup, that's always very, very powerful because you really, you know, you know how things work. Um, that's one. And number two, once again, good chairs, good uh, monitors, and uh, having everything that you, the equipment that you need. Does anyone use a whiteboard when you are discussing with your classmates or colleagues? Anyone uses a whiteboard? Yeah, a lot. A lot. Okay, Dima has. Uh, and what about the rest? Um, no, because... Uh, not okay, because yeah. we don't have it. <laughs> I don't no, have because one. you don't have it. Okay, but it, okay. but it's it's really useful to have one just to write a concept like, hey, this. Um, it's, yeah, it's a good. We have one. Have. Uh, we have one when we was in uh, Lindholm, but oh, yeah. uh, we didn't we didn't have the chance to use this because it was just me and. Uh, ah, okay, okay. In the yeah. case. I I yeah. highly, and of course it doesn't depend on you. You're not going to be taking a whiteboard from your home <laughs> all the way to the cafe. But if you ever find a place where you have something like that and that they offer something like that, that you have the option to use it, it's very powerful because it's a very good way of uh, exchanging ideas, expressing ideas. That's the key word, expressing ideas also. And it makes the collaboration a little bit more natural. Like, don't get me wrong. I love technology. I love this virtual stuff. But there are certain things that, are either a little bit difficult to rep reproduce virtually or people might not have the equipment. So, you know, in the classes with all of you, I have uh, my whiteboard, uh, not a whiteboard, but you know what I mean, I write. Uh, not everyone has a tablet of those things, yeah? And you're not gonna buy a tablet just for that, you see? But in my case, of course it's needed, um, but whiteboard, that is very, very good. I, I don't know, I think one of the things I will do in the future is I'm going to open my own cafe in which I'm going to set it up for uh, people to, to go there. Students will have the opportunity to go there for free and uh, I will be like really good setup. Everyone will go there. That's the, that's the plan in the coming, the com in the future. We will yeah, see. Yeah, like a coding but, cafe, like a coding uh, cafe, like lo-fi music on the bottom, nice cafe, yeah. nice desk, exactly. okay chairs. Okay. So no, okay, no, good, good chairs, good chairs. They, that's the most important thing. Yeah, the yeah. chair is really important. You, you I'm know, getting in, backpack, uh, pack pain during uh, this project. Yeah. When I was in, because you know, Chalmers has a Lindholmen campus and a Johannesburg campus. I, I every not as often, but I used to go to that campus as well. And uh, it was surprised because some chairs, they were actually broken, like the the back thing. It was plastic, okay, but I don't know what people are doing on those chairs that it will be broken and then you will sit down and you will almost like go back, you see. So <laughs> you have to be careful on which chair. So I do think chairs, of course, is very, very important. And uh, yeah, so I think the good place for that is uh, is uh, London when I lived there for five years. Uh, mm -hmm. This is also in London, it's a typical like that cafe and you have place for meeting. In my case, when I started work there in one company, we opened the cafe. I work like teaching manager. So every day I have meetings with my boss in different places, different cafes, together with view table. And you see around do you and you have students, you have another mm -hmm. companies to met in the cafe in different places. So this is a nice uh, idea cafe with the students. <laughs> actually, uh, exactly. actually, okay. Espresso House has this thing that like an island. With yeah. like taller thing that you can sit on a taller thing, and they usually have like a small board with blocks and stuff. So it's like set up for laptop usage. So uh, they, exactly. they kind of have it, but we need we need bigger screens. So uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, but yeah, exactly. Uh, any questions about this? Uh, now, uh, at the well, this will be for Dima, Mariam, and Andre. Uh, as you know, we're working on the aspect of internship. Uh, very soon you will be going on to your respective internships. Uh, always depends on the company. Some companies are on site, other, others are remote, others are hybrid. Um, but do you see yourself asking the company, now that you have been going through all of this, asking the company, hey, 
Should we do a bit of mob programming? Should we? Do you see yourself working in that environment now that it is a bit closer, at least closer than for Enrique and Murat? For them, they still have a little bit more months, but for you guys, it's around the corner. Do you see yourself working in this way now that we are close to an internship? Yes, yes, definitely. I'm really happy that uh, I can work in place and uh, have more programming actually i asked them if we can also have a pair programming so we can sit down and see the senior developer how they're coding in front of up even one hour in a week and they accept that and i'm really interested i'm looking forward to see that mm -hmm, exactly exactly so so again all companies work differently yeah they have their own their own uh, ways of thinking their, their own philosophies and these things are they change, yeah? It's not that every single company works like this. But what hopefully I want every single one of you to get out of this is one, hopefully now the term mob programming is not alien to you. Now when you hear mob programming, you know what it means. Number two, if you do go to a company either in the internship or later in the future in which they do some type of mob programming, hopefully you already know what to expect in terms of the ways of working and so on. Also, hopefully you already know uh, what to expect in terms of what are good practices that you should take into account and what, yeah, like what are some things to take into account when doing it. So that is the most important that you become, that you understand that this exists and then from there uh, uh, to apply them if, if it comes. Andre, go ahead, please. Yes, in my case, we we I, I don't believe we work in the, in the on desk. We work in maybe uh, on remote. Definitely, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to talk with Evan about that. I say I trying to replicate, like, okay, going to meet two times every day, two days per week in the library and the bibliotheque to try to replicate, like, discussion, okay, what is the problem together, share the, the ideas. Because I don't like, like, work five days a week alone in my home. And I say I don't like exactly. to meet for teams, going to the teams, going to talk face to face, discuss, whiteboard discuss the problem the papers so I try to exactly it. exactly so so I I recommend um that regardless of the like uh, if, especially if you're fully remote to speak to whoever it's you're working with and say hey let's at least meet once per week twice per week um, it doesn't have to be the entire day but uh, it allows you to at least as you say, have that connection and not feel that it depends on the people. Some people do like to be full, full, full remote and, and they have no problem whatsoever. And that's OK. There's other people that like the balance a little bit at home, a little bit. Hey, let's meet physically because of the human connection. So it's about communicating. I would say it's about communicating and finding a balance that suits everyone, uh, because as also the mob says. There's people who can be working on the mob 24 seven. But there's going to be scenarios or moments in which you want to say, hey, I want to step away from the mob. I want to work a little bit by, by myself uh, on, on this story. Yeah. So there, th there has to be a system that allows that flexibility for people to come and go without any, any issues, if you will. And it allows people to collaborate. That's the key to, to keep in mind. Um, yeah. Any, any more questions? Any more topics? On, any comments on this part? Any comments on this part? No. So I would say then uh, this chapter focuses a lot on the equipment, pure equipment about yeah, strategies to keep in mind. I think this this is important if, for example, you go to an internship and they tell you, okay, I want you to, to take the lead on creating our mob station, as we used to call it, then this chapter will come in very handy. Why? Because you know what things to take into account regarding the setup having a, um, a TV instead of a projector, uh, how many TVs should you have, uh, the, the layout of the of the desk, things like that. This I, I believe this uh, particular chapter comes in very, very handy if you're in that process of building that uh, mob station, basically. Otherwise, on how to improve it, how to improve it. Good, so I don't have any more to discuss. I think I have mentioned all the topics. Um, does anyone have any more comments old, on this one? How old is that book? Just uh, this particular book, 
I'm not really sure. Let me see if I can find it here. Sounds Copyright from 2018. 2018 is quite new. Yeah. Because pro projectors nowadays are 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 getting there like there's like really small projectors like this size that you can hook up into a uh, okay. dirty screen and they I, are yeah. portable in a way because you can have it on your back and you can actually have the screen with the how you call it with the tripod mm -hmm. so that that's a good alternative nowadays like in 2018 maybe not that much but nowadays the the projector technology have improved quite a lot in in point in terms of portability and stuff, mm. so it will it will be fun to just like go to a cafe with a projector and a tripod and like just set it up <laughs> like just to see people what the fuck. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Andre, you have a hand raised. Uh, yes, in my, in, uh, when I start reading this book, uh, I keep in my mind um, because I don't have the opportunity as a junior, the opportunity to work together with other people. Uh, maybe we add in uh, why the code and say time. That, that I have another experience, but it's more in continuous improvement when we discuss about ideas. But I would like to uh, uh, have opportunity to sit down at the table and programming, write the code together with another person. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't see it like that because I don't know how it works. Like, okay, you write this line, you write this line. So I would like to in the future have the opportunity to. So you, you're you know. going to be in the internship with Edwin, for example. So uh, especially in the beginning, that would be a good opportunity. You meet physically together and you say, okay, let's do per programming. That is not that I'm in my computer, he's in his computer and we are silent. No, it literally means I am in, we have one computer, the other one is put to a side and one person is the driver is what we have learned. One person is the driver. So you say, okay, let's, let's implement this feature, whatever that feature is. And you take turns. In the beginning, Edwin will be the driver, so he will be uh, typing. Of course, because he's typing, two things need to happen. One, if you want to express an idea, you need to you need to speak it. Yeah. Two, Edwin ideally, even though his his hands are on the keyboard, before he writes anything, he should also express that idea so that you can understand what is it that he is doing. Yeah. So. That is very, very, very good. I do that uh, or used to do that with my colleagues. We sit down one computer, boom, and we're discussing, hey, no, I don't think that's good. Let me try this approach. Give me that computer to do, 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 do. And it's a, it's a natural flow. I mean, there's no like recipe on how to do it. The key is that there has to be one computer because as soon as you have two people on their own computers, forget it. They are, you're going to focus on your stuff. He's going to focus on mm -hmm. his own stuff and it's not going to work. So. It has to be one computer and that's it. The other one should be for support in the sense like, hey, what were the files that Umberto blah, blah, blah. And you say, let me look for it very quickly. And then you use the other computer just to, you know, to look that stuff. But ideally everything should happen on one computer. If you were in Lynn Holman, for example, where you can connect your computer to the, um, to the monitor, it would be even better in the sense you connected a, I don't know if you have this, but you will take with you an external uh, mouse and keyboard, and then the mouse and keyboard will be passed around between them. I mean, mm -hmm. nowadays there's wireless and they are not that expensive. So wireless, and then you have one mouse, one keyboard, and then you are passing that around and not the computer itself, because you're looking at from the from the big monitor. Yeah. So that is basically the setup. And I encourage all of you to do that. Uh, Mariam, Dima, everyone, Enrique, Murat, to, to, to do that approach. Um, I do pair programming a lot. I do mm, mm, with my cousin. Exactly. I just mm -hmm. call him and he's like, oh, show me the screen. And then like, OK, go to this line, do that. Hey, what about this mm -hmm. one? Oh, this variable. Oh, it's, it's quite fun, actually. Yeah, but he's, is, he's the I'm the I'm the typist and he usually is the driver. So mm -hmm. he just tell me, mm -hmm. oh, go here, go here, go here and do the stuff. It's, it's super fun. It's actually mm -hmm. super fun. Mm -hmm. uh, Murat, go ahead, please. Uh, I will just say this quick. Uh, from my experience, because when I did uh, suggest that uh, we can meet in Lindholm, and just because based on uh, an experience for a few weeks ago, because uh, I have a problem with a task, and a friend of mine, he's like, he's a developer, he's a senior developer in Volvo, and he's, uh, yeah, uh, with the JavaScript. And he also is uh, studying at uh, Chalmers uh, at the same time. 
and it was uh, two st- it was him and uh, his friend so did I did join them I was in a close room with a big screen and uh, they tried like to hit me to explain to me and it was really nice to sit there and just switch the ideas and try to solve the problem how did you think how we how we solve it and uh, it was like a quite type of mobbing by some way uh, mm-hmm. and that's why I did really like I didn't really like it and I want like to to like to share it with the uh, with other colleagues but it didn't work mm-hmm. because uh, there is rules but as i said <laughs> it was a really good experience you mean you, you mean there's together. rules in you mean there's rules in linholm yeah, yeah exactly because you have to book ah. one of the rooms but for the ones who are not already are students there so they can like just uh, be there between eight and and they have to be on an open uh, uh, area when they have that activities gr- but, there is, but there is but there is but there is closed rooms in the level up in the building, yeah. mm-hmm. there we can feel more freely, and you can really talk and discuss uh, what you want mm-hmm. with the mm-hmm. with more equipment. Yeah, but uh, oh, it was a good experience. Yeah, I know which rooms, the blue ones, the blue furniture, uh, the blue tables. Uh, mm-hmm. I think, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely, it's uh, really nice. Of course, uh, it's a bit unfortunate that it's a bit closed for only Chalmers students, um, so yeah. But uh, good, good observation. Maybe next time you need to tell your friend to book it for you, and, and then you. <laughs> you, still yeah, stay, yeah. you still cannot stay after four because they after four they check. Uh, yeah, they, they, they make the a card. round. Yeah, the card. Yeah, oh, my, card. yeah my sister, she wants uh, she wants to help me with this because she is studying master at Chalmers, and she told me uh, that I can book room for you, so if you want. But as you say, we have to plan it like days before, and we have to know how many is gonna join us. Then yeah, maybe we exactly. can make that uh, country also. That's what we see. We see. Exactly. Exactly. Good. But no, happy to see the collaboration. I mean, uh, collaboration is important. Uh, equipment, of course, plays a part in order to make that collaboration efficient. And uh, hopefully, little by little, you have been finding your own ways of how to collaborate better and, and so on. Good. So any last questions, any last comments uh, before we close it for today? No. So, yeah, I will be making the announcement in the coming days, hopefully by the end of by tomorrow. But uh, basically on August 25th, I believe we're going to have a session. Uh, he will be talking. It, it will be like the one from Companion, similar setup. This time, uh, hopefully we will not have problems joining <laughs> the stock, <laughs> but uh, I will make sure not to use the same system. Uh, anyways, but uh, thank you, everyone. And then in sorry, and then in that you will see a bit from his perspective, how they use it, and you will have the opportunity to ask questions and all that stuff. Good. So with that, thank you everyone for joining, and uh, I'll see you either on a help session or a lecture next week. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank, thank you, you everyone. Have a good day. Thanks Bye. Bye. Have thank a good you. Day. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Bye.